Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for Guitar Lessons 365.com. Today we're going to begin our look at Estranged by Guns N' Roses. So this has been requested a lot. So finally getting to it, it's going to be a few lessons in. So you'll see a new one every few days here. Now this first one's really going to take care of all the lead guitar parts leading up to about the th uh, three minutes into the song. Um, so I'm going to really kind of tackle all the lead guitar parts. This, the whole song is pretty much a solo. Um, so we're going to take care of all that and then we'll go back at the end and uh, take care of the rhythm guitar parts for you guys who are just want to be complete and just have the whole thing in your fingers. All right, so let's start here with when Slash first comes in. Now we do have some little volume swells at the very beginning, which is he's playing the 10th fret there and then he's just play it and then... And then just let the volume, just take your volume knob and let it just, you know, fade in. And then you kind of slide down. So that's what's going on at the very beginning of the song. And then we have Slash coming in with his first big solo. Now, the first phrase is this. All right, so what I did was another one of those volumes was at the very beginning. You're gonna grab the 12th fret on the G string, you're gonna pick it, and you're gonna actually bend it up a step and a half. So when you get to the top of the bend, you're gonna want it to sound like the note at the 15th fret. Now, as he's doing that bend, the volume comes up. And then we get into the main melody. So that's sliding into the 12th fret on the G, over to 11 on the B, and then another step and a half bend at the 15th fret. You're going to bend and release. So you want that one to sound like the 18th fret when you get it to the top. Go with this. All right, and back to the 12 and 11 on the B, and then the... Next note we're going to bend and release is the 13th fret on the high E string. Now this one's just a standard whole step bend and release. So you want it to sound like the 15th fret there. Then to 10 on the high E. And then bend and release of the 13 on the B. Then you need to go to the bend again. And when you do the bend, you're going to grab that 13 on the high E string. And then do the bend again. So let me just show you everything we got so far. So start back over with that same melody. So you basically do that twice and you have this little lick. And the vocals come back in. So that's a little bend and release at the 13th fret on the B string. Pull off to 11 and then 12 on the G, back to 11. And then we have this next phrase. So he's obviously standing right beside an amp when you're when he's recording this. So when he sustains a note, it just starts kind of feeding back a little bit, um, which really helps that kind of that sound just continually uh, carry. So if you can't do that, just uh, pick it again. Yeah. So we basically after this uh, part, you go to the 11, then bend again at the 13, and then you go to 12. You pick it, and it's a series of half-step bend and release on uh, the 12th fret. Then you're going to pull off 13 to 12, and then play 11 again to start the melody over again. This is pretty much the same thing again. Come back here to the 10th fret, whole step bend. Let it ring. 
release and come up to 11 and play that and let that ring. All right, now we have uh, this next part, which sounds like this. So we're going to be starting here at, uh, it's kind of palm muted a little bit. You're going to be, you don't hear it too loud, but we're going to have 10th fret on the A string, and then 12 on the D, 12 on the G. Then you're going to slide 13 to 15 on the B. So like this. I kind of choose my middle finger to kind of roll it. So I had the third finger for that slide. The next one is this, 10 on the D, 12 on the G, 13 on the B, and bend it up this time instead of sliding, so we have this. That's a half step bend and release there at the 12th fret on the B. Do it twice, then grab the G, uh, the, uh, the uh, 12th fret on the G, then the D string there, 12th fret, back to the 15 on the B, so it is. Back to the same like before. So that 12 on the D, I'm sorry, 10 on the D, 12 on the G, 13 on the B, bend up. So it's basically the same like done twice. So we started from the beginning. So let that ring, and then down to 13. Then hold that bend and release twice there to 11. Now release that. And then you're gonna pull off t 11 to 10, and then play the 12th fret on the G. And that's when the vocals come back in again. And he really lets starts letting those notes, he, he holds that uh, 12th fret there. And it starts feeding back, and he starts playing with the feet. It sounds like it's in a higher octave, but it's actually here on the G. But the, it sounds higher because it's actually a feedback, is what you're hearing. So we have this 12, and then it goes. So he's just messing between 12, 14, 15, then 17, 15, and then. Do a little hammer 14 to 15 on the G, pull back off to 14, and slide back down to 12. So like this. And then, so when the music starts getting heavy again, we have, it's kind of a, kind of a, uh, a kind of a volume swell in it again. Whole step, bend and release at the 10th fret, and then back to another bend and then the, the guitar kind of dies out again and then we get back to pretty much uh, the same section again um, that he played earlier it sounds like this So let's play them the exact same thing and then kind of back down to the 12. Just going up that little scale, those little scale tones, back down to uh, from 12, 14, 15, 17, 15, 14, back to 12. And then uh, that's it for what we're going to cover in this lesson. That's um, that takes us to about the three minute mark of the song and it's back into a, a kind of a quiet section. So stay tuned for the next one. We're going to take a look at the uh, solos from the next section. I'll see you then.